Hello everyone, welcome to the first lesson of our module 3. So in this lesson, I am going to talk about the security tax or the spring security tax and uh, we are going to talk a couple of different things. And just to set the context, I am going to keep this lesson a basic one uh, because it involves a lot of concepts. So once we start getting understanding of those concepts, we are going to revisit this uh, uh, this lesson again. All right. So we are going to talk about what are security tax. So think about security tax as a module where uh, based upon certain conditions or an expressions, uh, we will be we want to show the certain parts or the uh, or certain section of our web pages, right? Uh, so one of the example is uh, think about an application where on a header for a if user is not logged in, you want to show them the login option. But if the user is logged in, you want to show them a couple of different op options. For example, go to their account uh, section, set their passwords or change their names, etc, etc. And then also an option to do a logout or probably on your home page or any page based upon if you are a logged in user, probably you want to give show them a different kind of uh, uh, banner. And for the non logged in user, you want to show them a different kind of a banner. So you can achieve all sort of the um, functionalities or a feature. Even you can go a one step further within the logged in users. Uh, every user can have a different set of uh, rules. And uh, don't worry if you don't know about the rules. We are going to talk about those ones. But rules are basically uh, it it sets your permissions that okay this user can do these certain things if you are, are just a normal user but if you are an admin you can do these many things right so those are our rules or authorities so with the help of spring security tags you can go one step further and based upon a, a type of the user you can also show them a different kind of a, a data or different kind of a banners or a link and all those things right so I have already told you why do we need uh, uh, those tags and for a web applications one of the very common uh, requirement is where on a header you want to show a login page for a non authenticated user but for authenticated user you want to give them options to go to the account section do a logout and all uh, sort of a certain things right and uh, based upon what kind of a templating engine you are using uh, by templating engine i mean to say uh, what is the technology you are using to build your front end is it a jsp is it a, a thyme leaps so every uh, templating technologies have their own set of uh, security tags spring security tags uh, but the underlying mechanism is always same because the underlying data or the decisions are being taken by the spring security not by these tags so these tags just facilitate a communication between the front end and the spring security uh, uh, framework right but they they can't they cannot manipulate the logic so I've, at the end of it, Spring Security will tell you whether this is true or it is false. All right. So for this application, we are going to use the Thymy leaf. Uh, so the first thing we what we are going to do is we are going to add the dependency in our application and we will see what are the basic step in order to start using the security tags for our application. First thing you have to do is to include the Thai me leaf extra spring security fab. If you see the group ID is extra, right? It's not the typical Thai me leaf which we have included earlier in our application. Let's see where that is. This one, okay. And the reason is very simple. Uh, not every application might be using a spring security. So why to why do they want to put everything into the single dependency? So they have created a different dependency that if you are using a spring security, most likely want to use the tags. So they have created a different dependencies to use the tag. So that's the first step you have. If you are using a Maven, include it. If you are using a Gradle, uh, you have to use your Gradle file uh, to include that dependency. Now, the second thing what you have to do is in your uh, in your HTML pages, you have to include uh, the namespace in your application, right? If you include it incorrectly, it will not break the functionality. But most likely, the all the modern uh, IDs 
uh, for example eclipse or intellij they use these namespace to give you some sort of a uh, they give the suggestions right so you might be missing those things all right so that's it the context uh, what is happening and uh, what are the different things what we are going to do and now i'm going to quickly talk about some of the very frequently used security tags uh, what are the different variation of those tags and how can we use those one all right all right so the first one i'm going to talk about is the common authorize tag and expr uh, say the expression so this tag takes an expression evaluate an expression and gives you a result as a true and false so if it is true that block will be shown uh, to the customer if it is false then this block is not shown to the customer sec the first part is the namespace and it tells that okay it's a security tag uh, and again authorized as i said right there are a few variation of the authorized tag uh, if you are interested to uh, to learn about those so the first use here is authorized right if you have a certain authorities for example if you have a authority if the user got the user authority only then this section will entire section will be shown right uh, so this is an expression all right uh, so this expression is evaluated based upon the authentication object provided by the spring security okay if you remember from our previous lessons right uh, let me open the user detail service once again so when we are basically loading the user we are also telling spring security that what are the authorities for those users and don't worry i will be talking about a lot more details about this one but the whole idea is when we return the user object we also tell spring security that what is the authorities and then based upon this user object because this is the user which will be the authenticated one and that is with the spring security all right now this tag is evaluating the spring security expression against this user object okay this user detail object right and now it says that okay if the logged in user has a authority user only then you should display this section otherwise for if the user doesn't carry a user authority then don't show that one okay this is one variation of it the another variation what you can use is uh, let's say you don't want to get into these nitty gritties right you want to have a simple black and white rule which says if you are authenticated then show this section if you are not authenticated then don't show that section right so you can use a simple thing which says sorry okay you can use a simple thing which says dev okay so i'm going to copy this quickly okay and you can use is authenticated have i written it correctly no okay and then you can put your logic in this tip statement so what what is going to happen is this dip logic will only be executed if the user is authenticated so if you are not authenticated this section will not be visible to you all right uh, and again uh, as i said this uh, authorize takes a spring el as an input so we can use a different variations of those ones right uh, and once we talk about the spring expressions we will revisit this one but the whole i, I i'm what i'm trying to say is this is very basic uh, requirement where you want to show the certain things based upon if the user is authenticated or not right for most of the p2c or the front end application most likely you don't need this one because it's more about dictates the authorities of the user all you probably need is this authorized one okay is authenticated so that will give you a distinction if user is anonymous or user is an authenticated one so that is the first set of the tags what you can use the second set of a tag which i am using here is the authentication one right so this again this is the authenticated object and it gives you the uh, kind of uh, 
information about the authentication object that is available in the uh, in our application and with this one you can basically uh, find out the different information so once you are authenticated into applications uh, the authenticated object is placed into the security context right and with the help of this tag we can basically uh, process certain information about that users so one of them is uh, name so this is the standard uh, property uh, okay so this will display the username you have to make sure that when you are returning these user details you are setting those information otherwise spring security will uh, set the or return the default information in our case we are not setting username and other things into the user detail object so when we are using this one it will most likely going to display the email id okay before we go into more details let's quickly see a couple of things in action what we are trying to do here okay so i'm going to log into my application quickly and you can see name it is displaying that name from this section right name all right and since my user the user i'm returning got a user uh, authority right or the role this first condition is also true and i am able to see both the things right so if i'm clicking here i have the sign out option so let's do one thing okay i'm going to change this to admin all right and then i'm quickly going to reload the page okay if i reload the page this section is now gone I don't I don't see this one right we, we, we don't see that one and the reason for that one is now the logged in user has authority as an user but what I'm trying to compare is with the admin since they don't got an admin role or admin uh, authority this entire section is not applicable for the current logged in user right let me change it back to user okay so this is the one thing now authentication object this is the standard property name as i said we are not setting the username or the first name or the last name so it is uh, going back to the uh, username which is my email id right uh, there is another thing uh, in the in in uh, time may leave uh, probably uh, you want to use that one is the authenticated object so instead of this authentication let's say you want to run your logic using uh, something different so what you can do is you can use the authenticated object that is only available with the uh, time may leave okay so that's the example so in this case it this one and these ones are similar the only thing is it it is used using a tag while this is a standard time may leave expression so again i am getting all the information from the authentication object all right there is no difference the only difference is the way how we are trying to pull out the information right with this one you have a little more advantage in the sense that you can run another expression so for example if you want to run some ex kind of a spring el all you have to do is to run expression and then use your expression inside this one so i hope this will give you an idea what are the security tags and why do we need these security tags in your uh, on your front end application you can build your application with your the security tags as uh, as i displayed earlier right if you use this authentication object probably you can achieve the same thing but that's not very elegant and the only uh, the, the other thing is um, you have to run a lot of things through the expressions right and it's not very uh, readable things uh, so this lesson was to set the kind of a foundation ground where you understand what are the tags right why do we need those tags and what are the basic functionalities we can achieve so once we get into the spring security expressions thing i am going to revisit this lesson because all these tags takes an expression so once you understand the spring el it becomes more powerful to do couple of more complicated things all right uh, 
and if you like my tutorials and you are li if you are liking the series please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you can share these uh, tutorials and videos with your friends uh, please do so thanks thank you for watching this tutorial